lifeblood, it dealt with real people. It dealt with real men that had real issues, that had served time for, for some, some of the horrendous things, and they started, and they used lifeblood to rebuild and put the pieces back together. It's a safe place to, to express yourself, to share a little piece of you, and then a little piece grows into a big piece. When you're dealing with a real person, you, you can relate. Every one of the, the men that were in that lifeblood, they were relatable. Because there's other women that are sitting next to you that can empathize and um, have something in common. So when they hear you speak, they feel comfortable. So it's a chain reaction. I could see myself in, in some of the men, and, so, and, and I related perfectly to their stories, and I related to what they were going through. It just taught me how to get, to rely on what hope was. A transformed life is a good life. Man, uh, you know, to, and then, and, 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 and the thing I loved about it the most, when I was sitting in, when I was sitting in Stillwater and you guys came in and you saw that, I saw a glimmer of hope. I saw, you know what? They can, they can do it. I can do it.